I remember how it began. I had just finished hooking up my latest invention, the combined radio radar scanner I was testing for the Navy. As soon as I switched it on, I heard the mysterious signal. Steve Forrester, please. Professor Bruce Adams. Steve, can you get over here right away? It's very urgent. Good. And bring a Navy expert with you who can break a secret code. to the electronic eye at the gate. Please show your credentials to the electronic eye at the gate. I thought I'd seen everything. This is only the beginning, my friend. Your credentials are in order. Your motor will start. Credentials are in order. Your motor will start now. Professor Adams' nephew, he's quite a kid. That Tobor is quite a kid, too. How does he work? ESP. Tobor has a built-in extrasensory perception. ESP? You mean that kid's handling him by thought transference? Exactly. Look, you know what IQ means? Sure. Intelligence quotient. The rating of a person's intelligence. Well, there's also an ESP quotient. Tommy happens to have been born with one of the highest ever recorded. He can handle Tobor better than you can handle a police dog. But we'd better get Professor Adams. It's not a message. At least not in any kind of code I ever heard of. But what could it be? It's more like a directional signal. Well, why should a directional signal be coming from way down there in the South Pacific? Unless it's directing this ship to a base of some sort. Mind if I call Washington? No, use the direct line. Yes, Admiral, I'm sure this situation ties up with Operation Round Trip. Very well, sir. We'll stand by for orders with Tobor. Right, sir. Bye. What about Tobor, Steve? Is he going someplace? Yeah, hold your horses, Tommy. I don't believe you've met Lieutenant Talbot. Lieutenant Talbot, this is my nephew, Tommy. How are you, Tommy? Glad to know you, Mr. Talbot. What's Operation Round Trip, Steve? Can you tell us? Or, or is it a secret? <clears throat> oh, it's all right to talk in front of Tommy. He's been cleared for top secret material. 
One of our atomic submarines is on a non-stop round-the-world cruise. It was last reported south of Samoa two days ago. On schedule, on course. Since then? No report. She's officially listed as missing. There's a big search on under the guise of maneuvers. I think we know where she'll be. I hope so. Can you switch this on to the Navy broadcast band? Might find something very interesting. Sure. Switch over to a closer view of that area. Wow, look at them move. They're heading right toward the atomic sub. Baker Fox to mother, Baker Fox to mother. Our pal sighted on surface. Our pal sighted on surface. Any sign of life, Baker Fox? Charlie Fox going down for Oxy. Charlie Fox to mother. Charlie Fox to mother. Mayday! Mayday! Mayday? That's SOS. Look, they're all going down. Mother, call back all pilots. Mother! Mo this is Mother. Come here, Baker Fox. Baker Fox. Baker Fox! Who's ever sending out that directional signal must also be downing those planes. I've never asked you how you kill my car engine outside the gate. I'm asking you now. Well, all nations have interceptor rays, but until now, none has had a range of more than a few yards. Until now is right. Look what they did to those jets. But can a ray like that stop a guided missile? Mm, I doubt it. Do you think you could fit Tobor into such a missile? I don't see why not. Navy wants him to bring the sub back, is that it? That's it. Better start gathering up that scanning set of yours. Am I coming along, Steve? Well, I don't know. Well, with the electronic scanner and Tobor both working, I'll need Tommy along to help. I know you will, but... Sure, pack your things, too. Thanks, Steve. Oh, boy! Here comes Tobor! <laughs> secure and shipshape in the missile. Better get set for the blast off, Professor. Well, we're all set. You see all right, Tommy? Tommy. Now, let's see. Your home signal's all set. Your ESP receptors are switched on. So long, Tobor. Do a good job and bring back that old atomic sub. That's funny. He was here a few minutes ago. Oh, yeah. The missile is prepared for blast off. It is now H hour minus 30 seconds. Don't get yourself hurt, Tobor. Take good care of yourself and come back just as soon as you can. Hey, hey, I'm in here. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Not in here. Survive that blast off? You're better than any old safety belt, Tobor. It's my fault. It was my job to guard him. The Navy needs your help, Professor. There may still be living men aboard that submarine.
It will soon be nearing the sub. I'll switch to the profile elevation. I'll need the command set for long-range GSP communications with Tobor. Right here, Professor. Thank you. Now, let's see. I want to get the step commands clear. First, I order Tobor to get in the life raft. Wait for first reactor light to show he's obeyed. Two, tell him to board submarine. Wait for light number two. Three, test for radioactivity with a Geiger counter. Light number three will tell us he's doing that. Right. Four, search for personnel, and five, return the submarine to base. You'll have to be on your toes, Professor. The missile will sink 30 seconds from the time it strikes. The missiles hit the water near the sub. We're ready for step number one. Tober enters life raft. What's the matter? I don't understand. Reactor light number one went on before I started working the set. Well, that's impossible. Tobor can't act on his own. I know he can. Someone else must be directing him. Nice going, Tobor. He boarded the sub. He's testing for radioactivity, by himself. No. No, it's Tommy. Tommy's alive, Steve. It's a miracle. A miracle. Hurry up, Tobor. Is it radioactive in there or not? about it. Tommy's operating Tobor. Well, hadn't you better take over command? Well, Tommy knows Tobor's mission. It's better if he directs him right on the scene. I couldn't make it move. You try it. Harder, Tobor. You've got to make it move. Harder! Now look what you've done. Now we've got to fix it. Wait, I'm getting something. Crew of atomic sub picked up in life rafts. Commander reports boat refused to answer helm. Decision was made to abandon ship and to prevent vessel falling into enemy hands, explosive charge was set and time to go off at 2400 hours. Good heavens, Tommy's sitting on a time bomb. Due to go off at midnight. That's four o'clock our time. Can't you direct Tobor to locate the bomb with the command set? Oh, it would be an awful risk. Tommy's already controlling him by ESP and Tobor can't respond to two methods of control at once. What would happen? His electronic impulses conflict, jam his receptor tubes. Like when he flew the artificial moon. He went berserk. But if you don't try... He's right. Have headquarters find out where they placed the bomb. We've got to get word to Tommy. Give me a bigger wrench. Work you with 
this long-range command set. I gotta quit sending thought waves to you and let Uncle Bruce get through. I gotta! I gotta! He's under our control again. Tommy must have guessed that we're trying to operate him by remote command. Two minutes to go. A time bomb! Tomboy, throw it overboard! Oh, sorry, I forgot! This terrible interference again. Think it's the code senders? No, it's Tommy again, I'm positive. Less than half a minute. If they found a bomb, that's it. Tommy's seen the bomb. He can't help thinking. I'll have to sign off. Throw it overboard, Tobor! Throw it overboard! Hurry up, Tobor! still afloat. Out there, it's two after twelve. They must have thrown the bomb overboard. Sub's moving along steadily. Maybe it's getting close enough to whatever's pulling it for me to bring in another pip. Yes, that must be where the directional signal's coming from. It's a vessel of some sort. work. Maybe you could be a Trojan horse. Our first cast brought in a fine fish. The atomic submarine will make a splendid replacement for this vessel. Must be an automatic pilot of some sort. 
But why did they make it in such an elaborate human form? Perhaps we should destroy the thing. It might be useful to us. Maybe I can take it apart and find out how it works. All right, men. Carry it aboard ship. Now's the time to tell the world who we are and what we want. Their transmitter should be working again. Attention. Attention, I'm speaking to the world. I'm Admiral Morgan. At my side is Dr. Herman Ohm, whose name is heard with respect by every scientist in every land. Ohm, a worker of miracles. He disappeared with a number of enemy scientists at the end of the war. But who is this Morgan fellow? Whoever he is, he's insane. We have just captured the latest atomic submarine built by the United States. This demonstrates but a fraction of the power we alone control. With this power, we can kill the engines of every craft that floats or flies, or any vehicle that runs on the land. This power places me in a position to dictate my terms to the world. My first victim is the richest and the best able to afford tribute, the United States of America. Already, I have your atomic submarine. Are you ready to hear my next demands? You're right, Steve. He's mad as a hatter. Think we'll give in? Not a chance. This is Fleet Admiral Dudley, United States Navy. Whoever you may be, Morgan, the USA regards you strictly as a pirate. You speak of demands. We demand you surrender immediately. That is our only answer. Surrender immediately. This is Admiral Morgan. Admiral Dudley, your words cause me the greatest pain. A pain which can only be eased by doubling the terms which I was going to ask you originally. I now demand all the gold in Fort Knox. This gold will be placed on the battleship Missouri. The battleship will then be taken outside New York Harbor and there abandoned. I shall then direct it to my base with an invention of Dr. Om. Any attempt to hinder its safe arrival will be met by a ray that will paralyze forever your city of New York. You have an hour to reply. Surrender immediately. That is our only answer. Hear this. Hear this. Prepare a long-range rocket missile with hydrogen bomb warhead. Missile will be launched in exactly 15 minutes. They can't do that. Tommy and Tobor. They're either in the sub or aboard that ship.
This is Tommy Adams calling Admiral Dudley and Uncle Bruce. I can't get through to the Admiral. Uncle Bruce. Get me over to that missile. Uncle Bruce, are you listening? This is Tommy. We have recaptured the atomic submarine. Missile crew, hold your fire. Missile crew, hold your fire. Can you hear me, Uncle Bruce? We licked them. Tobor and I cleaned up the pirates. Boy, you should have seen it, a massacre. Better send someone to pick us up. And say hello to Steve. And tell him 